Hello class! Welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, our topic is all about solving logarithmic equations. So here are some techniques or strategies in solving the logarithmic equation. Number one, rewriting to exponential form. Okay, so alam naman natin na si logarithm of x with base b equals y is same lang to guys ni b raised to y equals x. Tama? So, pwede nating i-apply yan in solving logarithmic equation. Number two, using logarithmic properties. So, may tatlo tayong properties ng logarithm. Pwede nating i-apply si product law, yung ating quotient law, and power law. Okay? So, number three, applying the one-to-one -one property of logarithmic function. Uh, yung one-to-one -one property, guys, uh, pag na-observe nyo, na parehas ng base yung ating logarithm. Let's say we have logarithm of x with base b equals to logarithm of y with base b. Ibig sabihin, pwede na nating i-equate guys yung x to y. Tama? Kumbaga parang na-cancel out yung ating logarithm with base b. Okay? So number 4, the zero prop uh, the zero factor property if ab is equals to 0, so we can equate a to 0 and yung b equals 0. Okay, then number 5, uh, take into consideration the domain of logarithmic expression. So, dito guys, ang babantayan nyo lang is yung value ng ating x. Uh, yung x dito guys, dapat lagi yan greater than 0. Okay, so bawal siyang maging negative. Tandaan. Okay, so let's start. Uh, find the value of x in the following. So, number 1, we have... Logarithm of x plus 3 with base 5 equals logarithm of 22 with base 5. So, dito guys, uh, kung mapapansin nyo, same yung base ng ating logarithm. So, it means pwede nating i-apply yung ating 1 to 1 property. Okay? So, kung tatanggalin natin yan for the meantime, so we can equate x plus 3 equals 22. Ito na ngayon guys, yung ating bagong equation. Tama? Then, solving for x. So, pwede natin i-apply yung ating subtraction property. So, that is 22 minus 3. So, ang x natin is equals to 22 minus 3 which is 19. Nakuha? So, next for number 2, we have logarithm of 9x with base 3 minus the logarithm of x minus 8 with base 3 equals 4. So, dito guys, nakita nyo na meron tayong dalawang logarithmic expression. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, uh, pwede natin yan i-rewrite as one or a single logarithm by using its property. So, kung minus yan guys, ibig sabihin, pwede natin i-apply yung ating quotient law. Okay? So, etong logarithms natin is parehas lang guys ni logarithm of 9x over x minus 8 with base 3. Tama? Equals 4. Ito yung ating quotient law. So, ngayon, after natin marerite a single logarithm, yung ating equation, pwede na natin itong i-transform to exponential. Okay? So, this equation, guys, is parehas lang yan ni 9x over x minus 8 equals, ito yung base natin, yung 3. Then, yung 4 dito sa kabila, that will be our exponent. Tama? So, simplify natin to guys. We have 9x over x minus 8 equals 3 raised to 4. And that is 81. Okay? So, multiply natin ngayon both sides of the equation by x minus 8 para makancel out natin guys or matanggal natin yung denominator. Okay? Then, distribute natin to. So, ang bago nating equation, we have 9x equals 81x. Then, 81 times negative 8, that is negative 648. Okay? So, ngayon, lipat natin yung 81x sa left side ng ating equation. So, we have 9x minus 81x equals negative 648. Tama? So, simplify natin guys. 9x minus 81x, that is negative 72x equals negative 648. 
So this time, pwede na natin ma-isolate si x by dividing both sides of the equation by negative 72. Okay, so maka-cancel out natin yan. So ang x natin is equals to negative 648 divided by negative 72, that is positive 9. Okay, ayan, yan na yung ating final answer. Nakuha guys? So let's proceed to example number 3. We have the logarithm of 25 with base 5 equals 3x minus 3. Okay? So dito naman guys, uh, ang first move natin dito is i-rewrite natin si logarithmic equation natin to exponential form. Okay? So yung 5, ito yung ating base. Then, yung 3x minus 3, that will be our exponent. Tama? So, try natin. We have 25 equals, so yung 5 natin, yan yung base. Then, yung 3x minus 3, that will be our exponent. Okay, so meron na tayong exponential equation na 25 equals 5 raised to 3x minus 3. So, ang next step natin is to express 25 in terms of 5. Tama? Para ma-apply natin yung ating 1 to 1 property. So, yung 25, same lang yan guys, ni 5 square equals 5 raised to 3x minus 3. So, as you can see, same na yung ating bases, parehas 5. So, pwede na natin i-apply yung ating 1 to 1 property. So, i-equate lang natin guys yung ating exponent. So, that is 2 equals 3x minus 3. Tama? Then solve for x. Isolate natin si x guys. So pwede natin ilipat si negative 3 by using add addition property of equality. We have 2 plus 3 equals 3x. Okay? Then 2 plus 3 that is 5 equals 3x. Then divide both sides of the equation by 3 para ma-isolate na natin si x. So ang value ng x natin this time is equals to 5 thirds. Nakuha guys? Okay, let's have our last example. Number 4. The logarithm of 2x with base 3 minus the logarithm of x plus 5 with base 3 equals 0. Okay, so again, meron tayong dalawang logarithmic expression. Tapos may subtraction tayo. Pwede nating i-apply yung ating quotient law. Okay? So this logarithmic equation is same lang guys ni logarithm of 2x over x plus 5 with base 3 equal 0. Tama? So, ngayon, naka-single logarithm na tayo, pwede na natin i-apply yung ating uh, rewriting to exponential form. Okay? So, again, ito yung ating base, si 0 yung ating exponent. So, that is 2x over x plus 5 equals 3, yung base natin, then ang exponent natin, 0. Okay? Then, any number... Uh, raised to 0 is equals to positive 1. Tandaan yan. Okay? Then, eliminate natin si fraction by multiplying both sides of the equation by x plus 5. Tama? Para makancel natin to, then distribute na natin si 1 doon sa ating binomial. So, we have a new equation of 2x equals 1 times x plus 5, that is x plus 5. Okay, then lipat natin si x. Kung positive, magiging negative. So, we have 2x minus x equals positive 5. Okay, then 2x minus x, that is positive x equals 5. So, ito na ngayon guys, yung ating final answer. Nakuha? So, this is the end of our video. I hope naintindihan nyo guys kung paano ba mag-solve ng isang logarithmic equation. If you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!